Hello everyone, great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And what we have to look forward to is the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. It's Chelsea taking on Real Madrid. Well, the first leg was a really good game, Derek. It had action at both ends, it was an even contest and it's set up perfectly for this second leg. Hopefully we're not disappointed. for Chelsea. Well, I'm intrigued to see how their two midfield players cope in there today because they look very isolated. Yes, they're good athletes and skillful players, but it's asking an awful lot of them. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. Ferlon Mendy plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Luka Modric plays with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. And the lead striker today is Karim Benzema. And they get the ball rolling in the second leg of this Champions League semi-final. Carvajal. Here's Valverde. Modric. Benzema. Happy to take on the shot. And throwing himself at the ball. Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. Has the strength to hang on to it. And fine work from Chelsea to win the ball back. Karim Benzema, who's played at such a high level in an attacking sense for so long. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him here? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. Valverde. Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Chilwell. And slipped through beautifully. Now the attack fizzled out. Benzema. This is Kroos. Modric. They've given it away. Joao Felix. Chilwell. Unable to make the mark with that cross. Federico Valverde. Benzema. Here's Carvajal. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. <laughs> 
Havertz. Enzo Fernandez. Mateo Kovacic. Felix. Body on the line. Just missing narrowly on the volley. Well, it's a fantastic effort. Difficult technique, but he caught it so well. He's unfortunate. Classic example of how to intercept. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. A good and fair challenge. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. And they're underway in the second half of this Champions League semi-final second leg. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Tony Kroos. Counter-attacking very much an option. Can they keep it going? Oh, a fine block. Vinicius Junior. Now with Benzema. Eder Militao. Mendy has it. Tony Kors. Valverde. Eduardo Camavinga. Rudiger has it. Vinicius. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. And given away. Carvajal. A glorious chance. And a goal! And now they're in control of the situation. Can they see this through? Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then through on goal. You never really had any doubt that he wouldn't slot that away. It's a cool finish. So underway again here, 1 0 the score. Substitution for the visitors. Coming off the well. Number two, Carvajal. To be replaced by Mateo Kovacic. And Chelsea have given us away. Eduardo Camavinga. On to Benzema. Camavinga. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Joao Felix. A lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Eduardo Camavinga. Vinicius Junior. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. He read the situation defensively and did his job. 
Trying to really get at the opposition here. Well, tremendous block. Havertz. Enzo Fernandez. James. Well timed tackle. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And there it is, the whistle. It's the end of the contest, and Real Madrid will ascend to the high altar of the Champions League final. Well, I thought they were outstanding over the two games. They controlled the midfield and always looked dangerous going forward. What a final we have in store for us. Not on top of his game for once, Karim Benzema. I think it's fair to say that, Stuart. Well, I thought he was well marked today, but it did give other players that little bit more space to play, and they certainly made the most of it. That's why they got the victory.